You may know how many sections the MCAT has, number of questions, what subjects are tested, but what makes the MCAT the MCAT? In many ways, this exam is mysterious. It's hard, but why? Hey guys, I'm Jack, and today I'm going to explore with you what makes this test so unique. What's actually on the MCAT? Yes, this exam tests chemistry, it tests physics, it tests bio. So yes, it's basically a final of all the major pre-medical courses you have taken the past two or three years. But if that's it, why is this exam so daunting? Why is it notoriously difficult for so many students? Some say because it's standardized. And yes, most students are not used to standardized exams. But even then, if that's true, you could theoretically study all the concepts you're weak on and, as a result, improve easily. Anyone who's taken the exam would tell you that's not the case. They'll mention that most of the science concepts they actually studied for wasn't even on the test. So then, what on earth are you doing during this six-plus-hour exam? The answer? You are reading. That's it. It's a reading test. Even the science sections is basically a reading exam where you have 10 passages to read. So it's not just cars that's based on reading. This applies to the whole exam. You're reading new information in a passage format and then ask questions about what you just read. This is what makes the test so hard. You have to be sharp and understand whatever they decide to throw at you very quickly. Can you prepare for this? Absolutely. But most test takers don't realize that this is what the test is all about. And I think the reason why they're making this more of a reading test is because everyone knows the science stuff. But not everyone can think on their feet when given new information. The organization that makes this test wants to make sure doctors can think and reason. And by making it more of a reading test, they can actually filter out the students who can't do this. Most students are confused or oblivious to this fact, and they end up trying to study for it like a college final. And that's when you're going to get a rude awakening. Since this is almost nothing like you've really ever studied, you may not feel super confident. I mean, after all, reading is tough. But the best part about this is that the people who made it are really consistent with every passage or question. What I mean by that is they usually follow a standard formula to present that new info and ask about it. Which means you can find that pattern and logic if you work hard enough. If you master their thought process, this becomes like any other exam you have ever taken. To get there, you absolutely have to accept that this is nothing more than a reading test. Improve your reading comprehension, improve your endurance, and be very meticulous with every passage you review. So don't spend a majority of your time just reading content books, because the reality is this exam is not content-based. Since its inception, the MCAT has effectively transformed into a CARS exam and that's why I offer a course devoted just to this section. In the CAR Strategy course, I break down exactly how to read the passage to identify those major concepts quickly on your first read-through, and how to use that information to get all the questions right. If you can work hard and listen to everything I say, I highly recommend that you look into this course by visiting my website, jackweston.com. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking it, sharing it, and subscribing. Thanks so much for watching.